Hello and welcome to another motorcycle review. This time around it's the Ducati Hyperstrada 939. Uh, so I've owned this bike for around two years now and I've done around 10,000 miles on it um, including a couple of trips uh, over to Europe whizzing around the Alps and the south of France. Um, so during the review I'll be having a look at reliability, um, cost of ownership, what's it like to own day to day um, and perhaps more importantly whether despite the passage of time and 24 months does it still get the blood pumping when I pull it out of the garage and go for a ride first thing in the morning. Okay, so reliability. Well, I'm very happy to say the bike has never let me down in the last two years. It's always started first time and I've never had that nagging paranoia that you get with some bikes that something is about to go horribly wrong. From a fit and finish perspective, the painted parts all look as new, while the metal fastenings are all standing up really well. I mean, they've got a patina of age on them, but there's no visible corrosion anywhere. The most vulnerable parts of the bike are at the front, so the front of the engine, the front cylinder, the exhaust, and of course, the rather precarious location of the oil cooler. As you can see, the exhaust is oxidised a little, and partly that's because it's so exposed, but also because it's absolutely impossible to get at it and clean it. The oil cooler and the engine have been peppered with a few little stone chips, but again, there's no real corrosion, there's no paint flaking off anywhere. Finish on the cycle parts is great, and overall it's a well-finished bike, but it's probably just got slightly fussy packaging, so it's not that easy to clean sometimes. You know, there's lots of nooks and crannies. Um, and just to add, it's been ridden in all sorts of weather, so it's had an absolute ton of rain, but I have avoided riding it once the grit goes down in winter. At that point, it gets put away and I ride my Honda Dominator instead. Okay, so the owning experience. Well, it's been a great two years actually. Not only is the bike reliable, it's exciting, it's easy to use, it's comfortable and it's practical. Um, I've come to realise that with my limited riding skills, um, despite what I'd like to think, I really don't need anything more than 100 to 110 horsepower, especially with the kind of bumpy, dusty, bendy back roads I've got in my neck of the woods. Um, also, the lightweight of the bike is absolutely invaluable because I've got a garage that um, requires me to reverse park at 90 degrees on full lock over a curb stone. So the lightweight is, is absolutely invaluable. Anything heavier starts to get a little bit fraught, um, especially, you know, I'm pretty weedy uh, and I've got the upper arm strength of a 10 year old. So again, the lightweight of the Hyperstrada is just really great for practical reasons. Um, in terms of economy, I've been getting 50 miles to the gallon, I've been going through tyres around every 4,000 miles, and I'm still on the original brake pads, chain and sprockets, although the chain has developed a bit of a tight, tight spot, so I'll probably get replaced um, in the next service. Uh, the luggage is great, perfect for solo touring, and also for picking up um, you know, your artisan bread from your local craft bakery, a few shallots and maybe um, some sauce or something and um, they're not waterproof though so you will need to use plastic bags if you're putting your pants in there um, so what what can't the bike do well probably it's too up touring with luggage as there's just not enough space um, in terms of uh, bits and pieces which are slightly annoying the grabby clutch can be a little bit awkward when cold uh, but really all you need to do is just feather it to get away cleanly so it's no big deal and um, so overall I've done two trips to Europe on it I've done the shopping I've commuted I've hooned around like a lunatic so for me it does everything and it does everything with a sense of eager occasion Okay, where do I start? Well, I can honestly say that over the last two years, this bike has completely reignited my love of riding. And in particular, a very kind of physical and involving style of riding. Um, by physical, I don't mean that you need lots of strength to get the bike round the corners. You don't, and obviously I don't have any. I mean, look at the state of me. Um, but it's just a really involving ride, you know, the braking, the accelerating, the nailing the front end into the corners and the pulling it up right. It's a really fabulous involving bike to ride. I mean, I suppose the clue is in the name. If any bike could be said to have um, ADHD, then this bike is it. It's a riot of lean acceleration and just total fizz and invigoration. I mean, before buying this bike, I thought I was turning into a right boring old fart. You know, I was ready to, ready to buy a brown Volvo, I was going to subscribe to the Daily Mail, I was going to buy a caravan, I was going to call it Robert and have wet weekends in Anglesey. But no, all of that is gone, thanks to this bike. I love it. It's a beautiful, engaging, wonderful bike to ride and I can't recommend it highly enough. 
So finally, in summary, it is definitely worth chasing your dreams. But as everybody knows, there's nothing more foolish than a man chasing his hat. Cheery bye.